My book is a memoir, I Would Meet You Anywhere, and it's about kind of a lifelong journey of being adopted, searching for birth family, trying to understand identity and my place in family belonging and all the things. And I was so fortunate to go to one of your readings and Q&As very recently. Mm -hmm. And I asked you this question at the Q&A, or I made this comment, that when I was reading your book, I just thought, wow, she is so brave. And brave in the way that you face this journey, the ongoing journey relationship, I would say, with your birth mother. And also brave in the way that you continued to deepen your connections with your adoptive family. I think when you're adopted, those are the two things, right? Like Mm -hmm. your birth family, where did I come from? Do I belong there? And then your adoptive family, do I belong here? And I'm wondering if you could just give an overview of this search for your birth family that you were talking to. And then after that, I'd like to go back a little bit and talk about your place in your adoptive family. Well, they're really intertwined, right? You know, it's kind of hard to talk about one without the other. Sure. I started, you know, thinking about searching when I was really young, and it happened because of a serendipitous trip to the library, my town library, when I was 12 or 13 years old. And I found a memoir written by another adoptee, um, uh, Florence Fisher, and her book was called The Search for Anna Fisher. And it really was the seed that was planted in my mind about what it meant to be an adoptee. It was the first time I had read that word, adoptee. Like, what is what is that even? What does that mean, right? And it, as it turned out, I, I couldn't really uh, join the organization that she started, Alma, until I was 18. But my adoptive family was incredibly supportive from day one. They were incredibly supportive. And I can't stress enough what that meant to me, that it gave me a sense of security that I could go out and search for birth family and for answers to my questions without feeling that it threatened my place in my adoptive family. And that meant everything to me. Um, I, I think that made a huge, huge difference. And I know that that's not true for all adoptees. And, um, I was very, very aware of that. So, um, I did find my birth mother early on when I was in college and then the subsequent decades of um, having a very up and down relationship with her. um, You know, I always came back to my adoptive family for anchoring and for for grounding. And um, yeah, like I said, I feel really fortunate in in that regard that um, I feel very grounded in, in that family. Yeah. When you said the word brave earlier, you're not the first person to use that word. And every time I hear it, I get a little like, you know, is it brave or is it foolish? I I don't know, Um, because I think there's a fine line. Right. Um, Because I didn't feel I have not felt like a brave person. I've just felt like I've just been making my way through this experience. And it's often been very frightening and uh, uncertain and all kinds of things. And so it's so funny that it it always kind of shocks me when people say that I'm like, yeah, brave or foolish. I don't, I'm not quite sure, (laughs) but uh, it's, it's, it, it has come up more than once. 